struggling with getting your child to engage in school, here are some things to do within your power. There are three parts of creating a system for your child that can be effective. Picking motivating reinforcers, a visual system they can see to know when they will get that reinforcer, and setting clear rules on how the system will work. A reinforcer can be anything your child wants to work for. iPads, activities, and control over choices have all been shown to work with some of our students. You have Zoom with your teacher coming up for about 15 minutes. What do you want to work for? Do you want to work for your iPad? Do you want to work for money towards your baby? I want to work for iPad. Okay. It's important to keep giving choices of different reinforcers just in case your child doesn't want the same one all day. If they can't tell you, just watch what they're drawn to and use that. Okay girls, your morning iPad time is over. Can we have a couple more minutes? No, but you guys can work for it during school if you want to. Put them away. Make sure you only offer something you can withhold if they don't earn it. Basically, don't have them work for something you're going to give them anyway. Token systems map out for your child how long it's going to take until they get their reinforcer. They also allow you, the parent, to have continual interaction and positive praise as you give them each token. So let's do iPad. Five minutes. Okay. A simple system, known as a first-then schedule, is a great visual to use with students who need something more immediately or who can wait for long periods of time and don't need the interaction or praise to do their tasks. Here are some examples of first-then visuals, and here are some examples of token systems. If you really want to go for it and your child has a good understanding of a token system, you can create a more advanced system with points or dollar amounts that they can get and buy certain reinforcers. All the stuff I already talked about is important, but it won't come together without a clear demand. Make sure your child knows exactly what they need to do to earn their tokens or reward. If it helps them to check in, you can ask them to repeat how they receive the reward. And in order to get this, you need to sit up, stay in the seat, participate, okay? When you put all these together, you have a method that has a lot of evidence that it does work. Whether it's a small task like sitting for one to three seconds or a larger task like completing a paper, we all need motivation sometimes when what we are doing lacks interest. Here are a few last reminders. Make sure you give your child the reinforcer as soon as they earned it and check in regularly to make sure they still want what they said they did. I love did. how you're staying in your seat and you're sitting up and you're participating. I'm gonna give you another X. You did really, really great. Look, your last segment is up. Here you go. Good job. Thanks. Don't make any empty promises. Only promise and make requests you can follow through with. Also limit access your child has to what they like best. That way you can use it to motivate them to learn if that's important to you. Thanks for watching and just do your best. We are all just doing our best. Check out our website if you want to download some of the visuals you saw in this video.